Hello everyone and welcome to Instant Biology by Dr. Neelab. The topic that we are going to start today is Air Lift Bioreactor. Now you would all be knowing that I had started a playlist on bioprocess engineering and in that playlist we have already discussed about multiple different types of bioreactors and uh, for example CSTR that is continuous state tank reactor we have also discussed about bubble uh, column reactor and in today's lecture I would be discussing about air lift bioreactor we would be discussing about the different salient features of air lift bioreactor why is it important and what is the functionality of this type of a bioreactor we would all be we would be looking into all of that so without much ado let us start this so in this air lift bioreactor what is the concept the concept is that over here the medium that is flowing or the flow of the medium is in one direction and that is achieved by only aeration okay so over here one important point is aeration that means the medium flow that means the circulation that was previously happening with the help of impeller now if you remember the concept of uh, uh, CSTR continuous stirred tank reactor in that in that CSTR continuous stirred tank reactor you would have seen that continuously the impeller used to spin and because of that spinning we used to get proper mixing isn't it i believe you would have understood this now in the bubble column reactor also we saw that there was no impeller in the the, the same case prevails over here also here also there is no impeller remember that there is no impeller and since there is no impeller how does the medium mix or how does the medium flow what is the way uh, in which medium flows it flows through the aeration now you would be knowing what aeration is since i have already talked about that in the previous uh, uh, basic videos so just uh, in order to just bring everyone to the same page what is aeration aeration is the process in which we send the air into the fermenter through a device called as sparger okay the sparger has multiple holes and through the sparger what do we do we send the air or the oxygen inside the bioreactor okay so over here with the help of that air with the help of that oxygen only we are causing the medium flow or the mixing inside the bioreactor this is the main salient feature of that airlift bioreactor okay so another important feature is that why are we using why are we using this kind of uh, uh, arrangement why have we removed the impeller first thing that comes to mind is impeller was giving us nice results why did you remove the impeller now impeller was removed because if you have a very large volume now in order to move that volume in order to spin that in order to get the important mixing we had to put in lot of power so that the impeller could rotate now in that process what we are doing is we are creating a lot of heat the shaft that is coming in contact with the fluid or the medium it is moving and it is causing extreme heat production now if the heat will be produced to such a large extent the microbes that would be present inside the uh, inside the fermenter they might be destroyed or some different types of reactions can also happen inside the fermenter causing the heat labile components to get destroyed medium has multiple heat labile uh, components you should know that and uh, in that case what will happen the heat labile components might get destroyed so we have to be very careful that the excess heat production does not take place therefore therefore this uh, air lift bioreactor is a mechanism to counter excess heat production as i said that no impeller is present if no impeller is present then definitely there would be no heat production now again another point is suited suited for aerobic cultures 
it is suited for aerobic cultures now what does this mean so in aerobic cultures you which you should be knowing that in aerobic cultures a lot of oxygen is required there is a lot of oxygen requirement okay lot of oxygen transfer is required okay now if a lot of oxygen is required therefore we should be using such mechanism in which the oxygen is sparged isn't it so in this mechanism we have sparging of oxygen and through that only we are achieving mixing also isn't it so wherever uh, aerobic culture would be grown this would be the mechanism of choice okay I believe you would have understood this now let us come to the mechanism or the working of airlift bioreactor how does the airlift bioreactor work okay so now let us see that there are two columns in an airlift bioreactor there are two columns one is the razor column and one is the down comer now if you see this let me just mark it so this is the razor column you can see over here this is the riser or the razor uh, column in this direction let me just show it like this in this direction the fluid is moving upwards or in other words if i say these are the air bubbles now where did these air bubbles come from you can see over here there is a sparger okay over here there is a sparger that is automatically emitting out bubbles now bubbles have oxygen or air inside them so what is happening the bubbles are moving upwards continuously like this so what what do i want to say inside the riser or inside the razor what is happening the bubbles are continuously moving upwards and this tube is called as the riser tube and the other two regions that means this region over here and this region over here these two regions are or these two tubes you can call them tubes also they are called as down comers because the medium is coming downwards from these tubes whereas the medium is moving upwards through this tube through riser it moves upwards through the down comer it comes down now i would explain it to you in in a in a bit that how come the fluid or the uh, bubbles are moving upwards or how come the fluid is moving upwards i'll i'll explain it to you in a bit okay now you would have understood this now these are different types of arrangements of a airlift bioreactor in this you can see one sparger in the center just below the riser tube over here you can see two spargers just below the uh, uh, the riser tubes we are considering this as the riser these two tubes as the riser and this as the down comer over here you just do not need to confuse with the terms riser or down comer you just have to understand the concept that by riser i mean in the tube in which the medium would be moving upwards and down comer means the tube in which the 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 medium would be coming downwards over here also you can see the sparger is present on one uh, uh, point and the this is the riser and over here this is the down comer i believe you would have uh, got a clear cut idea what riser and down comer means let me just rub this down and write the correct spelling riser riser and down comer okay just a minute riser and down comer okay so we have discussed this isn't it so now we have discussed about the riser and down comer one more uh, alteration to the diagrammatic representation is this is another type of a uh, airlift bioreactor this has a different design over here this is external draft tube now the uh, this tube over here this tube this tube is also called as a draft tube the tube that is present uh, in between the fermenter that is called as the draft tube now in all of these diagrams you can see that the draft tube is present inside the fermenter only but over here you can see that the draft tube is present external that means it is present away from the main fermenter body this is another example that means it has a external draft tube over here i'll just write it down that external draft tube everything else remains the same 
now what does the draft tube mean i told you the tube that is present inside the fermenter in order to just differentiate between the riser and the down comer that over here i i also showed you what is the draft tube i believe you would have a clear cut idea so uh i've, to, I've told i've told you about this draft tube or external loop also in the uh, other diagram i had showed you what was external tube in external loop in this diagram i showed you what is draft tube now let me just talk about the advantages okay i'll come back to the uh, process or mechanism let me just discuss about the advantages the first advantage over here is that there is no mechanical stirring as i've already said that the mechanical stirring is not present therefore there would be no extra heat production and our uh, media as well as the microbes that we are using would be safe next there would be no shearing action or the shearing action would be very less okay when the impeller was present the shearing action or the shearing force on the bacteria on the microbe was very high for those of you who do not know what is shearing force please watch my previous lectures you would get a clear cut understanding about that so over here since the impeller is not present less shearing action or force would be present next is the power consumption would be very very low since we are not using impeller the power consumption would go down the next important thing is that the air draft tube would give us a very nice mixing the draft tube would give us a very very nice mixing now let me come back and explain to you that how is this draft tube helping us now understand that uh, this draft tube that is present in the center i'll explain it to you with this diagram what is happening through the sparger the bubbles are continuously moving upwards in the draft tube okay now there is empty space over here also it is empty over here also it is empty now in this space what is happening the medium is allowed to interact that means the medium that is having the uh, uh, the bubbles and the medium that is not having the bubbles is interacting what do i mean understand this that the medium that is present over here between the draft tube it is having lot of bubbles okay the medium that is present over here in the draft tube it is having lot of bubbles now because of these bubbles because of these bubbles what is happening that this media in the draft tube the density of the media is decreasing okay i believe you would have understood this and you would agree with me on this that the density of the media over here is lesser than the density of the media in the down comer isn't it so when the media is moving upwards and over here this media that is having bubbles or air interact it is interacting with the down comer or the other media that is not having the bubble what is happening the mixing takes place over here in this area the mixing is taking place okay and because of this mixing what you you would be able to understand that since the bubble is moving upwards the there is a empty since the bubble is moving upwards there is a empty space in between in in the lower end over here there is a density difference that is being created because of the air bubble the density was lower and this density gradient what happens is because of this density gradient there is a motion or uh, there is a circulation of the uh, medium okay now you can see over here that this is the riser and as soon as it reaches over here the media comes back down over in this media you can see the bubbles are not present and again over here it mixes with the uh, the 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 air that is coming from the sparger and again the bubbles are moving upwards so there is continuous motion like this continuous motion like this okay so what is the draft tube do doing the draft tube is providing us a space in which the sparged or the aerated medium is moving upwards at the upper end what is happening it is mixing with the non aerated medium and then because of the density gradient circulation uh, circulation of the medium takes place and in this way without any impeller we are getting proper mixing okay i believe you would have understood this 
okay now the kinetic energy of the bubbles as i said that the bubbles are moving continuously upwards right because of the sparger they are come continuously moving upwards now this kinetic energy because the bubbles are moving it is utilized for mixing and aeration aeration because you are providing oxygen through these bubbles and why mixing because there is a density gradient isn't it you would have understood this the uh, medium that is aerated has lesser density than the medium that is not aerated so there is a density gradient so mixing takes place now i have also explained this so density gradient causes liquid circulation and henceforth mixing so so this is what I wanted to talk about the uh, air lift bioreactor. This was what I wanted to talk about the air lift bioreactor. I believe you would have got a clear cut understanding about air lift bioreactor. So for more such videos stay connected with us and subscribe to my channel and like the video if you did like the video. Do not, do not forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notification as soon as I upload any new video. You can also connect with us through telegram and I'll just post the telegram channel link in the description section. Thank you so much and have a good day.